Okay, in this uh, video we are going to uh, look at how to, to cast plant and transport plant your element for the project, uh, which has no actual model uh, made yet. Uh, instead we're going to use an Excel file to import the elements and make some cost planning and transport planning. So let's start looking at um, the Excel file here. Uh, there's a template we use for impact. Looks like this. Um, there is element mark, there is number of elements, length with height, gross area, mass, group, time, cost, production factory and production division. And you're also able to set face, building and floor. And in this uh, video, we are going to import some walls and hollow cores for uh, floor number one in building one and and the two of the same uh, element mark on uh, floor number two here. So we close the, the file and we go back to impact. Uh, project manager and right click element marks import linked element mark open and we find the file here and we are now going to import slash update element marks and elements and there we get the result yeah so if we close this one we can see here now in the model that the elements uh, are imported on each floor here. One, uh, if we look at floor number one here, we have the walls and, and the hollow cores, and floor number two, uh, there's dub, dub, the double amount, yeah. So now I'll show you uh, very basically how to, to make the, the transport planning and the cost planning. Um, so maybe we start with floor number two here. And let's start with the walls. Um, so we can see here in the cost cost planning uh, that uh, the 16th there's already already made some planning and and we use instead we use uh, the 17th here. If we double click here, we can see that there is no planning uh, made. Uh, or let let's look at the detail view actually, and so so now we have selected the elements in in uh, the model, and click auto uh, auto planning here, and we use all the tables. Let's see how it uh, how it looks after auto planning the elements. Um, as we can see here, this is the first try, and we can set the element color to cost planning, and we can see that there is two walls that didn't fit uh, this day here. Uh, go back to the calendar and we can see that it's full now on Friday tomorrow and then this is the weekend and if we do not work at weekends we can start planning them on Monday again. So if we go down here we can just simply drag and drop the walls down here. So that's basically how the, the cost planning is made. If you want to print the element labels, uh, you can print them from here. Print el element labels, or you go back to calendar to print uh, Friday's production. Right click, print, and element label. <coughs> So here you get the, the element labels and you can select the, the printer and just click print. So uh, I'll show you in another movie, uh, but instead we uh, let's make some, some transport planning for the walls. Uh, if we click the element color transport and you can see they are white, with, which means that they're, they, uh, they haven't been planned for transport yet. 
So we choose the transport planning tab um, and let's go for the walls again here. Auto transport again and we select the, the wall trailer and we want to, to um, transport plan them in the erection sequence. And let's try there just to see how the system set it, tries. Yeah. As you can see, there is two transport uh, created, one uh, yellow and one red uh, with number one and two. And the elements are planned here on each, each transport. Uh, and as we can see out here in the transport, they have status 30, which means here that they are uh, planned for production as we did before. Uh, let's start there. Thank you very much.